The Salvation Army will be at tonight's tree lighting collecting money for its Red Kettle campaign. Yeah, the Salvation Army also raises money to help thousands of children in need this holiday season. News 6's Ezzy Castro talked to one Orlando family who is counting on the Angel Tree program to make a nine-year-old's Christmas wish come true. Janice Simplin and her nine-year-old grandson Janaris are inseparable. I got my grandson three years ago through DCF um, from Hillsborough County and um, by way of his mom. The two live together in a small home on Paramore Avenue. She tells me it has taken her a long time to find a home after a rough past. I had a happy childhood. Um, things started going south um, after I got grown. <laughs> and as they say, um, into the world. <laughs> Not only was Janice homeless at one point in her life, she's a three-time cancer survivor. I've survived ovarian cancer, breast, and liver. With various opportunities at life, she only wants the best for Janaris. And this year, she wants to make sure he has the gifts he deserves. He's not ever got to experience anything. He's never been to Disney, Universal. Janaris is hoping an angel can give him a Nintendo Switch and a PlayStation 4. And a chess board. Oh yeah, you like chess, huh? Mm -hmm. You're really good at chess? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But Janice is also making sure her grandson learns the holidays is not only about receiving and giving back, it's more than that. Christmas, you know, is a lot to me because um, material stuff, you can get a dime a dozen. You can get it every day. But true friends, family, you know, that's precious. In Orlando, Ezzy Castro, News 6. Janice is one of the seniors the Angel Tree Program is helping this year.